Hello, I'm Susan Chapal. Welcome back to Fantastic Secrets Behind Fantastic Beasts. In the lead up to a full month of releases for the Fantastic Beasts franchise, two deleted scenes have been revealed, both of magical creatures. One is of Dougal the Demiguise, who made it into the released film as an important creature. The other is of the Rune Spore, whose role got cut. A Rune Spore is a three-headed snake who sometimes bites off one of its own heads, the one labeled the Critic. Perhaps J.K. Rowling is saving the rune spore for a later film, after seeing what the critic reaction was to the first. Could these two deleted scenes yield any new clues? I explore many mysteries like this in my book, Fantastic Secrets Behind Fantastic Beasts, and hope you'll check it out. Dougal the demigods can foresee the probable immediate future. It warns him that Newt is likely to cast a spell on him, and that later Queenie will trip over a Christmas bauble, scaring the alchemy. I wonder if Dougal can give us a hint as to what's to come in future movies. However, without Dougal here to inspire me, I'll have to come up with a few of my own possibilities about Joe's disappearing primate and her three-headed snake. When I was writing my clue book, I covered the rune spore, even though it didn't appear in the finished movie, because it was on the cover of the script book. Now we see that the rune spore was originally in the movie, so it most likely has an important role to the series. The left head of the rune spore is the planner, the middle, the dreamer, and the right, the critic. In my book, I reflect on how this is an analogy of the writer's life and how we'd often like to bite the head off our inner and outer critic. Here, however, I'd like to focus on two other possible theories. A bigger clue I see from these two creatures are their native locations and a possible visit to each. The rune spore hails from Africa, the demigods from Asia. Rolling hints at Africa with several clues, and a couple of Asia. The Fruper, Nundu, and Arampen are all native to Africa. Indeed, Newt confirms to Tina that he just returned from Equatorial Guinea, which is located in Central Africa, and we know he's been in Sudan, where he met the young female Obscurial. But the strongest clue pointing to these two continents is within the Pentagram office scene, where five world leaders are given speaking roles. Madame Pickery from the U.S., the unnamed British envoy, and Heinrich Eberstadt of Europe, then Mamalu Waterson, whose name is of African origin, and Madame Yazao, whose name literally means Asia. We've been told that Fantastic Beasts 2 will be set out of Paris, and it's been hinted that future films are likely to be cast around the world. Thus, I believe the Rune Spore and Demiguise are a couple of clues pointing to future film visits to both of these continents. The location of the Rune Spore in the deleted scene is also intriguing. It's pictured in a cave. While in the original 2001 Fantastic Beasts textbook, it was associated with a forest. There are many mythical references of serpents in caves, and they're usually sonic beings, mythical creatures or deities related to the underworld. Quite often, these sonic serpents are entwined about a staff or tree, representing the tree of life or the caduceus, such as you see with the tree of life in the Garden of Eden and Hermes' staff. I initially thought the tree symbol was absent in the Fantastic Beast image until I realized Rowling had cleverly wound the rune spore around a stalactite. Look, it's an upside-down staff. It's a three-headed caduceus. Hermes, the god most famous for carrying the caduceus, was a bringer of dreams and a guide to the underworld. His serpent-entwined wand or staff was used in healing, often through both giving dreams or waking a person from them. As a sonic deity, he used his caduceus to bring death or even restore life. What I find most exciting about the possible symbolism of the rune spore as a caduceus is that its heads are reaching out to Jacob, as if to strike him, perhaps as a forewarning of the ending, where Jacob's memory will be erased in what is described as a state of wakening. Indeed, the word wake from sleep is used four times in the script book. All four of them are in regard to Jacob. From the time Tina discovers him bitten by the Mertlap and tells him, wake up, Mr. Nomad, to when Newt warns him that the sisters will obliviate him and it'll be like he woke up and all memory of magic is gone, to the ending where Jacob tries to reassure himself, it's just like waking up, right? We're warned that Jacob is existing somewhere between the dream world of magic and of waking, but we're shown at the end that those memories still linger. As for the Tree of Life at Possible image, Joe has another even more creative example of the Tree of Life that did make it into the movies. So I'll cover that one in more detail in a later video. 
While I know these deleted scenes are being shown now to draw attention to the digital movie releases this month, I think they're also gearing us toward the newly revised Fantastic Beasts textbook, which is coming out March 14th. I'll be eagerly looking to see what changes are in the new text for both the Rune Spore and Demiguise. If I find new clues, I'll update here. Please share your thoughts in the comments. I've got lots more videos coming, so be sure to subscribe and watch the other videos in the playlist. And check out my book, Fantastic Secrets Behind Fantastic Beasts, at Amazon or your local bookseller.